curved line most of the way across the page. Next what we're going to want to do is create a mirror or complementary line to complete the cigar shape. That's good enough. Next you're going to want to connect these two points with a semicircle. I'll show you why later. To keep this spaceship stable, you're going to want to give it little rudders. That can be easily done by making a diagonal line and then a line that follows the way the spaceship is going. Do that on both sides. And then bring these rudders back in with curved lines. Now I'm doing this while I'm talking and from behind a camera, so it's not coming out as well as it ordinarily would. But you're getting the general idea, I hope. Next, let's place a little window up here in the nose cone so we know where the astronauts are and so that they can look out into space. I like to make the windows on a spaceship square just like in an airplane. Next we can kind of color in the nose cone a little bit. And put some little hash mark details right here on the rudders. I think that looks rather smart. Now we can decorate this any way you want. You could draw a bird of prey or, I don't know, whatever symbol represents your country. For my country, it's a bird of prey. But because I can't really draw one that easily, I'm going to make it say USA. And a lot of rocket ship toys will have that kind of a marking. All that's left is the fire coming out of the rocket, or the exhaust. An easy way to do that is to make a large curved line from the top of the rocket that gets a little bit wider than the rocket, but that comes back and makes a point like that. Or swoops up a little like that. It will make a point because we're going to build off of that and finish a flame shape. Now some lines in the flame will give it some depth. As well as giving the appearance that the end is very bright. And there we are. It's not the best spaceship, 